Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Point Fighter Live. I hope everybody's having an awesome week. Uh, I'm having an awesome week myself. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, it's Thursday, and we have another great week coming up of events this weekend. And um, it's going to be an awesome show today. We got Tony Osani on the line and uh, Sergio Speedy Brandon also. They're going to be the guests on the show. They won. Uh, they, they were at the event last week, two point fighter approved events. Um, you know, we had the Vice City uh, Championships and we had um, we also had um, the Vice City Championships and then the Tony Young Tournament, the All Star Nationals in Georgia, which Speedy won and uh, two awesome events point fighter approved. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about those events. There was also a great event um, overseas, the Irish Open. Congrats to Roman for winning another uh, another Irish Open as well. Um, we're gonna bring on the guests in a few minutes. Let's just get on to uh, this quick uh, quick review of the sponsors. Give us some power on the show. Give us a share. We got some great uh, a great show today. Uh, Tony Osani, Team Legend, their team won the Vice City Championships last weekend. Um, they beat Proper, and uh, there was some good great teams there at the event. It was an awesome event. And, uh, you know, Sergio won at Tony Young. So uh, a shout out to our sponsors, uh, Mini Queen. Uh, shout out to her. She does a great job with the, um, you know, just the theme of it, the events, right? You have a good a theme for your event. She does a great job matching that uh, Mini Queen. This is the Redlands. This weekend, it's actually the Redlands uh, Invitational in Miami. There's a few tournaments this weekend. I believe there's uh, three point fighter approved events. So look out for the trading cards as well. Uh, you know, Point Fighter had now has the official trading cards at Point Fighter events, and it's pretty cool because you find them at the events, and you know, it's a, just a great way to highlight the uh, you know the stars in the in the you know in the in our sport. So that's the trophies by Mini Queen right there, and um, also this weekend uh, tournament of champions that's over in in, uh, in um, Kentucky. My man Marty Eubanks is gonna be at the event. I mean, it's his event. Uh, TDE is going to be there. Our, my team's going to be there. It's a, it's a huge, it's a very big event for that area. NASCAR rated, you know, WKC, uh, you know, RSKC. It's an awesome event. And Doris Brothers is doing the trophies for that one. So it's going to be a great one. You know, shout out to Doris Brothers, another sponsor of the event. Um, you know, ASG is another sponsor. We're just going through the sponsors real quick and we're going to bring on the guests really fast. ASG, make sure you support a great company. Uh, Jason Chen, they got everything that you need. Uh, check out the helmets, you know, ASG helmets. They, uh, they retail at $79 and they're great, you know, of four colors and, you know, they're great. Well, what else can I say? You could, or if you have a school, you could also get a wholesale account, allstargear.net, contact Jason Chen or myself. Uh, top 10 as well. Fighters Inc. Make sure you support another great company. They have a bunch of stuff, you know, that that they have on their store. It's not just sport karate. They have like these are the boxing gloves that they have there. So you just just go to uh, fighters-inc.com and you can order those there. All right, and um, you know, like I said, they have a bunch of gear there. Now this weekend we have another tournament, uh, Philadelphia Pro Am. It's gonna be great. Up in Philadelphia, my man Keith McKinley is the promoter of the event, and you know it's star studded. We're gonna have live streaming at this event and the other events as well. So look out for three point fighter approved events with live streaming, and you know a lot of action. Now Philadelphia is, you know, you gotta come ready to fight. That's one of the themes of the of the you know of the tournament. Come ready to fight, and uh, you know past champions last year poor won it. Uh, Kiara, Kiara uh, won it from KTOC. Uh, great event by my man Keith uh, McKinley. It's a, one of the best tournaments out there in the East Coast right now. So uh, tonight we're going to have Tony Osani. They're actually both waiting on the line right now. Um, you know, what we're going to do is uh, I can see you guys. What's up? Power Baby. Yes. Let us know where you guys are watching from. And we're going to have a great show. And I hope everybody had a great week. Give us some power. Give us one more share right now. If you have any comments or questions for the two guests, uh, let me know. We're going to start the show off with uh, with Tony, and then we're going to bring on Sergio. Uh, you know, two great, two great people in the sport. And uh, let's start out with Tony. I know he's a little bit pressed with time, and they just got done training. So let's bring him on uh, first. 
and talk to him. Here we go. Hey, what's up, Tony? Hello. Hey, Tony. Hey, can you put the camera a little bit like? Because right now, uh, all right, yeah, uh, yeah, right there, right there, right there. You're good. You're yeah. centered right there. Perfect. Hey, what's going on, man? How's everything? Good? Everything okay. Thank you. Thanks to God. Ooh, Venezuela power, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, so congratulations in uh, the Vice City Championships. Your team won the team fighting. Yes, um, sir. And the competition was very good. It was like there wasn't there was only three teams, but it was very good competition. Yeah, and you guys uh you guys beat team proper with uh and it was a close match. You guys were losing by like a few points, and then Christian. If you guys didn't see it, you could see it. Uh, it's on Point Fighter Live. Christian came back on Brian and got the win. And um, you know, how do you feel about the tournament and the win? Well, uh, th th this tournament was preparation for our next tournament. We know that we will have. Hey, Tony. <laughs> Ooh, yes, Ooh, Tony, Tony Jr. Jr. Hello, Hi. Tony Jr. What's up, Power Baby? Yes. Hey, Power. Power. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. We accept the invitation of Damien. Damien is a good friend, and we yeah. know that in that tournament we will have a good competition. And for us, it was very good because it's it's, it's a one step to go already to Ocean State. Oh, yeah, Ocean State. Wow. So you guys are going to go to Ocean State. Yeah, Ocean that's State coming up. our next NASCAR tournament. That's the next big, that's the next big NASCAR tournament. Yeah, for Yeah, us. man, you guys, Um, you know, we're going to get into a lot of the tournament talk as well. But uh, just sticking right now to the Vice City Championships, Um, you know, you guys have like a, a very big, uh, uh, an awesome team. And uh, congratulations also on being sponsored now. You're sponsored by uh, your your top 10 Fighters Inc. as yes. well, right? Fighters Inc. Is, uh, is one of our sponsors. And now we have two two partners of the school that they are help help up, you know, all the expenses to go to all the tournaments is very, very hard. And now we have three sponsors that are help, helping us. Wow, man. That's no big awesome. sponsors, but, you know, every, every help is good for us. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And you guys compete at a lot of tournaments. You guys are pretty much like, I think I see you guys compete at, you know, yes. every weekend almost, right? Yes. Yeah. In my mind, in my mind is, is they compete every time they are ready to go to a big tournaments. In each tournament, they can find different persons. And for me, it's a good, good, good. It's, 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 it's a good kind of training also. Yeah. So Not you, only so, in our school. Yeah. So you like a lot of tournaments. You think that it's good yeah. to get better, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I did the same in Venezuela. In Venezuela, when I, when I was living in Venezuela, we, we went to all the tournaments, small and big tournaments. Yeah, for sure. I think that's the way to go. I, I, I like that. Now, how about if a, if a fighter, let's say, if a fighter kind of has like an injury, right? Um, fighting a little injured, do you kind of tell them, um, you know, because sometimes in football, let's say the NFL or other sports, fighters, I mean, players, they they still play even though they're a little bit injured. Uh, with it. it's just like part of the game. Like, how do you feel about that? If you if one of your fighters is not uh not really badly injured, but they got like a, a bruise or or some kind of a small thing, what what's your advice with that? Do you think they should take off or just keep going? Uh, we we need to think in, in how is the kind of the injury. If, yeah. if they if they can manage that, I. I left that they fight, but I need to, I need to take, take care of my fighters. And yeah. if, if I, I can, if I have the, a less, a, a minimum possibility that the injury will be hard, I don't, I don't let, let, let them that to fight. Yeah, for sure. And they for need sure. to recover because maybe if the, 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 if the injury is bigger, they can stay out of the, of the tournaments more time. Yeah. Yeah. They may never, they may, they may never have that time to recover. For yeah. the next one, right? Because they're competing and competing yeah. and stuff. Yeah, that and is true. Know, I mean, we, we have a lot of tournaments. The circuit is very, very busy. And you yeah. need to take care of all your fighters. Yeah, that's true. So your advice is just take like a few weeks off yeah. until you're ready. Yeah, that's right? it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because some people, they're like, you know, like there's some fighters that they're like, their knee hurts a little bit. And they're like, I don't care. I'll just punch more, you know, <laughs> nah. but until it gets better. But, yeah. um, you know, I guess either way is right. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, the person, right? That's it. 
But yeah. um, what's going on, guys? Thanks for joining us. Power. Yes, sir. You got any comments? Let me know. Hey, so, man, you have, you, you look, you're looking good, too. You're looking really good. You're looking pretty, uh, pretty slim there, right? Uh, you've been training. Yes, I am training. I lose in one month. I, I begin in my training this month hard uh -huh. because last year I was fighting in two divisions. I fought in heavyweight divisions and in lightweight divisions. And now I want to stay all the year in the lightweights and I'm working in my, in my weight. I lose almost 16 pounds in wow. one month. And I want to keep keep losing weight to stay Man, very that's cautious. Great. That's incredible. How old are you now? I am 44. 44 years old? Wow, man. That's a, and you've been fighting, like, I was looking at pictures of you earlier, and, like, I seen pictures where you were, like, the guys in the early 90s, you know? Like, yes, the, yes. the mid-90s, the 2000s. Yeah, and, like, you, yeah. you're just there. You've been fighting without stopping pretty much. For yes, season. in my times I fought with with your brother Manny Junior, yeah. with Tony John, Pedro Xavier, Richie Perry, Wow, uh, Mallory Goods, Ooh, a lot of fighters. But Donald Brady, Ronald Brady. <laughs> Man, the list goes on. You've really mm -hmm. fought everybody. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, that's incredible. Now you know you also. So you're just you're you've been active all these years, yeah. right? But you yeah. also have built a stable of champions. Yes, sir. I, and then you also have not just black belt champions. You have, you know, underbelts and kids. Yeah. Then you, Throughout your whole career, um, you know, including your kids as well, they're doing gr a great job uh, competing out there too. Um, but the thing is, how do you manage that? Like fighting and coaching and teaching all at the same time? Because it's, for me, it was very hard. And that's one of the reasons why I kind of like retired because I couldn't, focus just on myself and like it was very hard to do everything you know as a coach and stuff like but how did you do it how well, well, what's your secret since since the god first uh, i have a, a, a good staff of black belts oh they, yeah they helped me in the coaching they helped me in the training with the kids but also we need you need to to, to have your time for yourself yeah for that reason I train alone in the mornings, do my cardio, my exercise, my stretching. And in the black belt class, I fought with my kids, with my guys, with my black belts. That's uh, the yeah. way now. Uh -huh. and, but in the, in, my, in, my, in the regular classes, since the guard uh, host is working with me, Mr. JP, Mr. Robert, Christian, they are working with me in the school. And they help me a lot with the new, with the new generation. And we are very happy with this new generation. Right now, we have more than 150 students. And wow. we have a lot of talent. And I think in two years, Teen Legend will be hard, hard, hard. <laughs> Man, they're already very hard. You guys you guys are always up there. and uh, But you're always pumping out new talent. Um, now, you know, everybody out there listening, you guys know that, you know, Tony is from, uh, from Venezuela. And, uh, you know, you came out here and, and you opened a school with uh, Kempo Chop House. Yes. And you guys are expanding out here as well. And, uh, you know, how are things? I, I'm hearing that things are, like, looking more promising out in Venezuela now, right? Yes, we, yes. Are, we are very happy because we, we saw the light at the end of the tunnel. And yeah. we think close, we will have a change of government. And that will be very good for all the people in Venezuela. Because yeah. the martial arts right now are very, very, very deep. And yeah. no tournaments, uh, the schools are closing. And yeah. we have, we have the, 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 the hope that that's changed fast. And then we can, we can help a lot of people in Venezuela to, to beginning again, to, to, yeah. to grow again. Yeah, no, it's a positive. It looks very positive. You know, it's like the whole, con the whole yeah. world. It's yes, the whole world. Venezuela and the new president. So the, that's the US, very good. The, the, the U.S. government is helping a lot. The yes. European governments, South America. Everybody wants that the change of the presidents will be close and we can recover fast. Yeah, man. That's great. That's great to hear. And yes, because we have, we have a lot of talent. No, only yeah. for, school, for different schools in Mexico, yes. in Chile, in Argentina, Colombia. Everybody move out of Venezuela. Oh, yeah, they moved out of Venezuela. Yes. Yeah. 
But is there still good talent there in Venezuela? Yes, yeah, yes, talent? always, always. Yeah, the, always. The, the new generation is very hungry. They want to fight. They want to compete. We have a lot of talent in Venezuela. Right yeah. now, they don't have a lot of tournaments. I think this is the only thing really yeah. right now because they can go compete. But I know the people is trying to 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 support the, the schools and 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 they are waiting for the storm the storm finish to begin. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be great. You know, to pump. You know that there's a there's hope now. So that's awesome. Uh, shout out to everybody out there in Venezuela. Hey, this weekend. You're gonna be inducted into the into a Hall of Fame, right? The FBBA Hall of Fame, yeah, yeah. the Redline Invitational, and that's gonna be awesome for you, right? How do you feel about that? Yes, well, I am very thankful yeah. for for the FBBX directors for giving yeah. this 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 award. Uh, for me, it's very good. My family is very happy. My school is very happy, and thanks thanks for everybody. Uh, yeah, my my first tournament in the United States was in 1992. And was in Miami Open that your dad did, uh -huh. and my my final match was with Manny Junior. He beat me. <laughs> yeah, I remember. This is my my first FBBX, F FBBA. Tournament. Yeah, you've been competing in FBBA for a long time for sure. Yeah. Hey, that's crazy. Like a lot of memories that you make and friendships from all over the world in yeah. the sport, and that's what I one of the things I love about the sport. Hey, yeah. uh, Jerry Hamilton, he's saying, "Where's my Tony card?" Ah, let's see. Maybe you'll see it this weekend at uh, the Ooh. Redlands, right? Woo! Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, thanks for joining us. Um, I know you just got finished with your with the team training, and uh, uh, yeah. you're, you're bringing the team too to the tournament. Like, there's gonna be some of the fighters there, your black belts and kids and stuff. Yes, we will go this weekend to Redlands with a good team. Yeah, we'll awesome, be there. Man. Awesome. That's great. Hey, thanks for joining us, and I'll see bye you bye. on Saturday. Thank you. Okay. And co congrats, Alex, for your job. You are doing a very good job helping every, everybody. Uh, you, give, you give a lot of information of the tournaments, and very good. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Power, baby. Woo. Power. Woo. Bye-bye. All right. Okay, well, we're not going to keep them waiting. We're going to bring them on right now, Sergio. Now, the oh, just a little bit, just a recap of the Vice City Championships. It was a great event. Um, Devin Hopper won the overall. Shout out to him. And, um, you know, Zain Pedraza was here. He, he was a runner-up. Great fighting. You know, proper diamond team. Uh, legend. Great competition at the event. Blitz. It was great. The tournament was done, like, by 2 o'clock. So shout out to uh, Blitz for another great organized event. Let's bring in Sword Sergio. Let's talk about uh, the All Star Nationals in uh, Georgia last weekend. Here we go. Yo, what's up, Mr. Power, Reyes? What's up? What's up? How's everything? Good. Everything is good. Everything is good. All right, man. Let me see. Yeah, you're good right there. Okay. Perfect. Hey, so congratulations on on winning the event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hey, so um, congratulations also on on your uh, you you you, you know you have uh, your when you won the tournament you had the picture there with your son and uh, congratulations on that Thank as well. You. Yeah, I, I seen Ryan do it. Uh, he was yeah, in Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh man, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so That's you know, exactly shout out, like shout that. out to Ryan. Yeah. Shout out to Ryan for uh, doing that. You know. Hey, when you when you got when you got karate and your kids, man, you know it, it go hand in hand. You got both the love of your lives at the same place at the same time. You know it's a very special moment. Uh, yeah. Hey, but how about your first one? That was that was my first one. Um, That's your first one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was my uh, first tournament of the uh, of the year. Yeah, that was my first one. And how about oh, and how about like. Uh, you know, I asked this question to Ryan. Now that you brought up Ryan, like, how does your does your training change a little bit? Kind of like, you know, when you got that more more responsibility with the kids and stuff, like the than when you weren't, than when you didn't have any, you know, a, a, a kid at all. Like, how does it change? It does it change it at all? Like your lifestyle or adjustments or not? Um. Well, to be honest, um, I mean, it's my second child. Everyone knows second my child. daughter, of yeah, course. Yeah. Yeah, so when I had my daughter, uh, I kind of, I kind of put karate first, and I kind of missed out a lot. Like I missed out a lot with her. So I'm, I'm, uh, my training didn't change, but when I do come home, 
I try to, you know, balance and, and be be a father more so yeah. than uh than than before. You definitely learn a lot the second time around. So wow, I definitely okay. want to concentrate more on on, you know, kind of balancing them out. So Man, that's a great word right there, balance, right? Yeah. Like yep. sometimes people are like if they can't do it a hundred percent, one thing they just don't do it at all. Right, like, right, right, right. Like, they make excuses, but like yeah. you're not making excuses. Like you're you're like balancing and figuring mm -hmm. it out. You know how to yeah. do it. So that's really good. That's awesome. So how was the tournament? You enjoyed it? You, you Oh yeah, there? I did. Yeah, I've been I, going I, to I, this I, one for a while too, right? Yeah, every every year, Mr. Young throws two great tournaments, uh, yeah. one in March and also one in December, the year in. Uh definitely year is probably my favorite tournament of probably ever, besides Survivor, Corky Sykes tournament. But yeah, Mr. Young's year in is really good as well. But yeah, I've been going to both of them uh for for quite some time. Yeah. Hey, is this the first time that you win the the, the overall there or you've won it? Um uh, I think this is either the second or third um time nice. i've won it so nice nice that's great that's great hey i was gonna ask you because you like man you have fought like you know you fought a lot like you fought in like you've been around a lot of uh, different type of events as well like mm -hmm. the wku right on the usa mm -hmm. team and um you know you've done a lot of, of competing on the national circuits mm -hmm. and um you know what you know, and also you fought. I, I seen you fight in like a cage point fight match, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was at a bias tournament. He had us fighting in uh, in what we call dog kennels. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. If you guys haven't seen that, I mean, I've been I remember yeah. seeing that and like I wanted to post it up and it looks pretty cool. Now, yeah. how was your experience with that? Like, what, what do you think about like? Was it was it different having like the the, it, the fence around you guys like that? It, it was it was definitely different, especially the way I fight. I utilize the ring a lot, so uh, it, it it makes you cut those angles a little bit sharper. Um, but it, it was definitely different. Uh, something that I, I kind of enjoyed the first time, and then I said the second time he threw a turn. I don't think he had. I don't think he had it uh, the second time he did. But it was it was definitely something different. Yeah, so. that was different. That was for sure different there. Hey, so your your team is uh, you're on Team ATL, right? Yes. Yes, and you've been on that team. You who you've been on that team for a while, like with with Marcel Trey. You've been on that team for a few years now, right? Ten, ten years, to be honest with you. Wow, ten, a whole ten decade. Years? Ten wow. years. Yep. Yeah. That's ten great. Years. And you guys, um, you guys, man, you know Georgia has so much talent. Like it's crazy. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, how, how often do you guys get together for training and stuff? Uh, well, every Thursday we, uh, you know, we got Mr. Young. So oh, usually yeah, everyone Young's. comes down there. Yeah. Um, I try to, I try to get, the, I used to go down to Chris Walker school a lot. Um, oh, yeah. I got kind of, I moved, so it's a little bit further. So, um, I got, I got to get back there on that. Plus my, my work schedule changed a little bit. So I was actually working on Sundays. So now that that stopped, when I said, I uh, need to get back up there as well. Um, we used to we used to train quite often, but it's 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 died down a lot. So yeah. we all gotta come together and kind of you know work some stuff out, especially with with newer guys moving here. Um, yeah. know, we got Devin, we got Zane, we got uh, Zach. Yeah. You know, we got a lot yeah. of a lot of good fighters here. So uh, you know, just keep the fellowship going yeah, and kind of work out sure. sometime. With everybody that's living out there now, like from everywhere, like man, you guys mm -hmm. still have a tremendous. Uh, workout session for sure. Yeah, I've told Zane, it'd be crazy. Yeah, I've told Zane about Tony Youngs like that. He wants to go out there. Ernest Miller goes out there too. Um, every Great Thursday, you, Ernest popping off at the mouth. <laughs> it's it's fun though. Hey, and Tony Young, he gets it in too, right? He sparks. Man, that I'm telling you. And now, now people, people <laughs> have seen me that you know they credit. You know, I'm probably you know one of the fastest guys they've seen. Tony Young still had Tony Young still kicks my butt to this day. That is he wow. hits me with stuff like that shouldn't even be hit. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. That's Mr. incredible. Mr. Young is yeah. he's the GOAT. For real, man. <laughs> he's That's the GOAT. great. That's like it must be amazing just to train with him there and he still gets it's, it in. It's, it's, and, it's, um, it's, it's another feeling to share the same mat as him. It's it's crazy. Man, I'm truly we honored. Get, we gotta get a Tony Young seminar out there. That's like that's like, you know, that would be great. Like, I don't even <laughs> it know would, if it to would. do that, but like that will be cool for like a TCK camp or something, you know, like. With, with Mr. Young, you never know. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, I wouldn't, never I wouldn't, know exactly. I wouldn't stop short, but you never know. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've been trying to get him on the show for a while too, but <laughs> let's see. Yeah, let's actually, go. I was because you know Thursday I run down there, but uh, I, I kind of got stuck at work today, so I couldn't get down there. But I was gonna have him on with me. Oh man, yeah, that would be great. You know, it's great. I, I mean, I, I remember competing with him like in '97, mm -hmm. and it was an honor to comp just compete with him. And uh, you know, man, he was an awesome fighter and a great guy, and he's he's like a sport karate. Um, you know, he's still involved with the tournaments yep. and that's what really yep. makes you even more of a legend where you give back as well. Yep. We have the training nights, uh, the school, he's, he's still pumping out talent and, yep. you know, to me, his overall body of work is incredible. Yeah, know, so, exactly. Yeah. He is really a, a, a legend. Hey, so what's your next event? What, what are you doing? Up, what's coming up next for you? Well, uh, you and Tony kind of, you know, hit it earlier um about the whole injury thing I'm, yeah. I'm one of the guys who rush back from injuries a lot so wow. i think I, well this year you know i got got the kid just bought a house my wife just had a career change i'm about to have a career change as well mm -hmm. as um um recovering from injuries i, I i'm i'll probably do a couple um yeah but probably i won't this year I won't do a lot, but definitely next year I'm I'm gonna hit uh, I'm gonna hit the circuit back a lot more. But uh, this year is more so just recovering and getting yeah. prepared for this career move. Also, uh, my uh, coach been real sick, so I kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I, yeah, I can't. Sure. I, I I promised him that I wouldn't um I wouldn't compete till he was in the coaching chair with me. But yeah, uh, he he insisted, yeah, 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 he insisted that I went and um. I went and did Mr. Young's tournament, so I did that. But um, like I said, I, I definitely promised him I couldn't I couldn't fight without you in my in, without you in my corner. So um, yeah, definitely wow, just waiting shows, for him to. Yeah, that shows the chemistry you guys got there as well, for yeah. sure, for sure. But yeah. um, but yeah, man, I mean, there's some good tournaments in the area that you could hit up yeah. as well. And um, you know, you, you know, you, you're you know, you're a big fan of the sport as well. Yeah, always, yeah, always. You're always watching for sure. And, uh, you know, I've seen you just competing all, throughout the years, and uh, you, you're awesome. Um, you know, congratulations on the event again. And, Thank you. Um, for sure, man, thanks for joining us tonight. And Always, congratulations sir. on your second child, right? What's his, what's, his, what's his name? His name is Sergio as well. Ah, little you got a little Sergio. junior. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you see his future in? What, do you see him fighting and in, in sport karate? Oh yeah, I'm. Or? Hey, soon as soon as he can walk, I'm. <laughs> he out there. I got him throwing punches right now. So yeah, he he definitely gonna be out there. My daughter, she she, I kind of gave her some leeway, but my son, he don't have that same opportunity. He's obligated to to get his ass in there. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. There we have it, guys. Uh, Sergio Speedy. Brandon. Oh, one, man, that just made me think about one more question. Your name, Speedy. Um, mm -hmm. who, who who gave you that nickname? Of course, it's obvious that you're fast. You're Speedy. Mm -hmm. You know, that's. But where, when did that nickname uh, start? The, the the same person who gave Kevin his nickname, Case Will, is the same person who gave me uh, my nickname, Speedy. His name is Master Ace. He died. Uh, he died a while back. Man. But um, he he. I mean, everybody would call me Cobra or or Snake. I would strike fast or whatnot. But one day he just, you know, he just called me Speedy, and it stuck. And, and you it know, stuck. Yeah. It, it it just stuck. So yeah, Master Master, his name was Master Ace, uh, legend down here in uh, actually in New York and and here. So, How long um, ago he, was he, that? How long ago was oh, that? Oh, this he 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 probably passed away. Um, I say maybe. Eight, not either seven or eight years ago, about seven or eight years ago. So, but yeah, even prior to that, he gave me the nickname. nickname but yeah, he uh, passed away a little bit, a little yeah. bit about seven, eight years ago. Yeah, man. Hey, one more question. I got one mm -hmm. more for you. I promise this is the last one. Hey, hey, man, I'm on your time. Hey, <laughs> um, goals? Any others? Any sport karate goals that you that you want to accomplish? Yeah. So, like I said, this year, this year, like I said, I'm not. I'm going to definitely keep training, but next year I definitely want to uh, go to Irish Open and oh, yeah. um, do that. And I'm still uh, I'm, I'm still searching for my, believe it or not, my first WKC uh, World Championship. I haven't I haven't got that yet. So, um, yeah, Those next year it's in, it's in Scotland. So, um, I like I said, I'm going to probably miss Niagara Falls this year, but uh, definitely want to uh, get me an a Irish Open and um, definitely my uh, first WKC. I can't I can't start something and not finish it. So yeah, that's man. definitely got to get that one. 
That's it, man. Well, good luck with accomplishing that. I'll be watching you. And, uh, you know, Sergio's been part of Point Fighter Lives. Uh, he's mm-hmm. helped us out. And thanks for all that help you've given us before. A great no fan, problem. great fighter. Yes, and thanks for joining us tonight. Congratulations on winning the event again. And uh, well, I'll see you soon. Hope to see you soon, okay? All right, Alex. And just like Tony said, man, thanks for everything you're doing for yeah. the sport, man. I remember when when you we were talking about this, this was just a – uh, yeah. uh, an image in your mind and, and now look at you man you missed the worldwide <laughs> <laughs> thanks bro thank you thank you man thanks for the yes, support sir. power baby i'll see you soon all right much love yes sir okay guys uh thanks for joining us great show give us a share and uh continue to watch us we'll have some live streams uh this weekend it's gonna be great uh point fighter approved events we got, oh man, we got some breaking news coming up next week with Point Fighter.